Now, going into this following film that I just saw called Mindless Behavior All Around the World, I had some preconceived notions. I had just seen a poster and some of the trailer as I was coming back from the bathroom during another film. This looks like some sort of dance competition. That's the idea that I had going into this movie. Like, was this a dance competition for the youth to bring them together? Now, I love to dance. And anybody who knows me personally or has met me or seen some of the videos that I've done in the past, I do love to dance. Is there any talent involved? Hell no. There is no talent whatsoever. But I do love to move my body. It's probably the only form of exercise I actually do get. If I didn't dance, I'd probably be fatter than I am. So going to this movie, I thought, okay, I'll see a dance competition and get some, you know, see some kids and, you know, get some uh, idea of growing up and learning how to dance. I didn't know that I would get a documentary that would be in the same vein as a Justin Bieber documentary or the Katy Perry documentary we got last year. That's kind of what this film does. It is a commercial for the brand of mindless behavior. Now, if anybody would ask me uh, a few days ago or a week ago what mindless behavior was, I would have you know, thought maybe that was a new comic book coming out or a new reality show that I have no idea to watch. And uh, and that's about it. And maybe something that like you got served, or uh, you know, one of those stupid step up movies. But it turned out it was a documentary about four young kids who could dance and somehow sing. So these people brought them together. I guess they were trying to form a a, bo a new boy band. You know, it's definitely produced. They got people you know coming together. It's just you know another In Sync or Backstreet Boy or New Kids on the Block and bring them together for a new generation because I know we have One Direction coming out. There actually is a movie, 3D movie. I probably will see that. I challenge myself to watch that and I will let you know how I felt about that film. And I see the Justin Bieber and the Katy Perry movie. So I've seen all these kind of films. I know where these, these story is going to kind of go. And going to the movie, I was sitting there watching it going, yeah, these kids can dance. There's no question about that. And I like their story. I know they're coming from humble homes. I think the people that are producing this group really want to promote a positive message, a message of love and a message of happiness. And of course, sell lots of tickets to very young girls because it seems like their major audience, because they're a bunch of 15 year old boys, it's probably a bunch of 15 year old girls and younger that love these guys. So watching the movie, I was, I was noticing, okay, yeah, it's a typical concert film and there's really nothing, I don't know why I'm really here, but I'm gonna give this movie a chance. The music is kind of really produced. Sometimes it felt like uh, that auto-tunes kind of sound, and I hate that auto-tunes kind of sound. It sounds so phony and fake. So I might like, okay, cool, they can dance. I'm giving them that. They, they're dancing, they're having fun, they're, you know, it, it, that is entertaining, and I like how it goes back to telling their story of where they come. Of course, they're still very young, so there's not a lot of story to tell, so it's pretty much, you know, a few minutes of their birth, I guess, and then on to their concert. And now they are where they're today, and probably by the time this movie comes out, they'll be like 16 now, or 17, or whatever. But, you know, overall, I, uh, I started to form my opinion about the film, and, uh, I'm going to surprise you all and say that I enjoyed this movie. Now the music, again, not too exciting, not too fresh, not too nothing that grabs at me and shakes me. And, and of course, you know, I know they're definitely not trying to appeal to a guy that looks like me. <laughs> but if they got to know my heart, they would know that I like a good story about you know coming from rags to riches and hopefully they can keep their heads on the ground and their egos in check. I surprisingly enjoyed this movie. I did like the dancing and I felt like I was tapping my toes a little bit thinking and I need to do some more dancing because I'm not dead yet and I need to move my body so I don't put on more weight than I already have. So overall I would have to say Mindless Behavior was a very decent documentary for their brand and I recommend it for the fans of course and maybe for someone who maybe didn't see the Justin Bieber movie and just want to see this movie because they didn't see that and so they're not really seeing the same thing. Anyways, and again I, I think I just recommend it to the fans. If you're someone that doesn't really like this kind of music then you're just probably going to hate on it the whole time and not really notice the talent that is involved and these kids do have heart and they do have they are humble now i don't know where they're going to be when they get older i mean you know if people get older and really they just they they do care about the music and the money but then they start caring about more important things so anyways uh again i also want to say that i think their title or the name of their band i think it's kind of lame because it says mindless behavior and i feel like their behavior is not really that mindless i think there's a lot and a lot of knowledge 
and a lot of use of the mind that goes into them. They're not mindless. They do have uh, ideas, and they are talented. I don't know if they can sing too well. I didn't really get into their music, but I felt like they could dance, and they could perform, and they love their fans, and they did a lot of nice things that weren't mindless. So the title is kind of lame, and I, I wouldn't give them the title. I don't know what I would call them. You know, mindful. Mindful behavior. Maybe you call them mindful, because even when they get older, but then they'll probably break up, and one of them will become famous like Justin Timberlake, and the rest of them will all be kind of made fun of in the, in the past. We'll see what happens, happens but whatever. I, I babble on, and... I don't want this video to go on any longer, so yeah, for the fans, I recommend for some just average Joe Schmo, you might want to stay away from it, because you'll probably just hate on it and not really enjoy it. I did, I liked it, and I would say, uh, yeah, it's worth a seat. And it's only rated G, general audiences accepted or approved. I'm Movie Man Chad, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook, and please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film, and also go to WhoYouTube.com. Did I say We Live Film? Yeah, I hope I did. We Live Film, We Live Film, YouTube, Internet, oh my gosh, the community, the film-loving community, oh my gosh, it's over seven minutes, I hope they all edited it down. Okay, I gotta go, bye.